Now tonight, animal rights advocates are applauding a new move by the Shelby County DA. He's creating a new judicial position solely dedicated to cracking down and prosecuting animal abusers, a problem that's only gotten worse in the Memphis area lately. Here's Brad Broders with a story you'll see only on ABC 24. I think this is the best way to bring in 2023 with more proactive help for animal cruelty cases. Nina Wingfield is a certified animal abuse investigator in Shelby County who's seen firsthand the impact of neglect and torture of her furry friends. You lose a lot of sleep. It's devastating. That's why Wingfield is excited to learn Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy's latest decision. He's getting former Judge Donna Fields to focus exclusively on animal cruelty cases, investigations, and prosecutions. My hope is that if we set a signal with the animal abuse... Both Mulroy and Wingfield said local animal abuse cases became more rampant in recent years. However, they've been difficult to prosecute for many reasons, including a lack of dedicated resources. The addition of Judge Fields looks to change that. We just need more cruelty investigators out there that know the law. And as the new Shelby County Animal Abuse Case Manager begins her work, Wingfield said she and other investigators are also ready to assist. What we need to do is not just save these animals. We can, you know, maybe help the immediate animals, but we need to prevent these people from ever owning another animal. And that can only be through, you know, winning your court cases. In Tennessee, animal abuse cases eligible for prosecution includes torture, neglect, and harmful restraint. I'm Brad Broders. Memphis Animal Services sent us this quote about D.A. Mulroy's decision. They said in part, they're interested in hearing more about the, his plan, and it's important to MAS to have the support of prosecutors. They went on to say a strong link exists between people who abuse animals and commit other violent crimes.